say shitty. I don't know, bro. I don't know if Big U said shitty, but when that shit with Nipsey first popped off, when it first, first happened, all everybody in LA thought Big U said shitty. We all thought that. We all did. We thought it was Big U, and then, and then we thought, People was like, no, it wasn't Big U, da, da, da. And then they was like, oh, yeah, it was the government. Like, come on now. That's what the world was saying, the government on some weird shit. But all of L.A., yeah, we all thought Big U did it. We already been felt like it. Because like Black Sam said, I, I didn't even watch that interview. I honestly didn't. I saw a couple of clips or whatever. But um, living in L.A., I remember when um, Big U and Nip got into it because Nip didn't want to um, be under his label no more. Cause Big U was trying to like, Big U had bought the Crenshaw lay, the Crenshaw brand, and shit like that, and um, yeah, like basically trying to like extort Nip and had him in a fucked up ass deal. So when Nip finally got out of that deal, you know what I'm saying, um, he went about his way or whatever, and Big U didn't like that, and um, so they had like animosity or whatever. This is just me living in LA, I know this, and then um, I remember when Nip started fucking with YG, and he had brought YG to the 60s and um when he brought yg to the 60s i remember big you was trying to pop shit about it like how you bringing this uh whoop de whoop nigga to the hood this and this and that and nip like nip took nip nip uh pilt out his shirt and he was like nigga i'll get out for cuz whoop whoop and nip had to run phase to have yg in the six o's but he did that he did that but big you was trying to give him a hard time because big you was mad that um he wasn't like trying to give him no money you know he didn't want to be under that deal no more what's going on with all my billionaires out there it's the guy who's being there welcome to who's being there tv big fight with big abundance it's cool to be smart on today's episode we're gonna be talking about a la woman talking about the whole la thought big you did it when they first heard about nipsey getting on alive let's talk about it let's talk about it so I'm not quite sure who this woman is, but I mean, this video has been going viral. Um, she is a woman that lives in L.A. Um, I believe lives in the 60s also as well, or from the 60s, from that area, from that section. And she pretty much just speaking on, you know, the how L.A. felt um, at the time, you know, that Nipsey was unalive, right? So, who better to know than an L.A. native, you know what I mean? nipsey inspired so many people it's still a lot of people that feel like man what really happened like me being one of them who always speak that nip was a prophet bro every i mean anybody that's really spiritually in tune everything comes back around right like it's not just one malcolm x it's not just one martin luther king there's always one in every generation right that always ends up having the you know lose their life for the betterment of the culture you always see that happen right so nip, nip was a prophet bro i can go to so many people and i literally don't know too many people where they don't be like man nip influenced me to do x y and z like it's so many so you know it is what it is but you know she was just speaking on how la felt at the time and she was saying first and foremost everybody thought big U did it everybody thought big U. the whole la was like oh big U must have set up that play right says that eric holder was just a shooter right yeah like everybody in la thought big U did it and the reason they were saying that is because the history between nipsey and big U wasn't really sweet and it's like you know homeboys get into it and stuff like that but you know they were saying it was just multiple times where you could see big U, you know had an issue with nipsey and how he was moving you know with different situations a situation where he fought nipsey over the studio quote unquote studio equipment you know whatever it is that he said you know nip making a diss song on big U, you know and and speaking on him right you know what i mean and and in that situation uh them dp and nipsey uh, Nipsey bringing YG to the hood and she she said he had to take phase behind that because he brought YG to the hood and Big U wanted to know about it you know and then with Big with Black Sam doing this latest interview stating that you know it was people that was upset that Nipsey brought Khaled to the hood right who you know everybody insinuated he was saying Big U I mean that was like a LA call like a LA dog whistle like 
I, I believe a lot of people in LA, you know, who have a pulse of what's going on in that situation, understood what pretty much what Black Sam was saying, right? And they letting everybody else know, like, look, this really what be going on in the city. And he was talking about Big U, you know, Wag 100 confirmed that. So Big U showing, you know, pictures with Khaled and then he kicking with Khaled and all that after the fact that Nipsey died, that proves absolutely nothing. You were upset that Nipsey was the first person to bring him to the hood and that Nipsey had a relationship with him and you was trying to push up on that. You know what I'm saying? In a way that you felt like was a way to push up on it. You know what I mean? You was mad that wasn't no money kicked up. You was mad that, you know, he just came to the hood and, you know, he didn't have to pay nothing. I believe that 100%. Because if I don't believe nobody, like if we talking about Cowboy, Big U, and Black Sam... I, I believe Black Sam. Like, he just he's just a more credible person. You know, overall, you know what I mean? Even just how he conducted and did that interview. This man not even a gang member or none of that. You know what I mean? Just because he went to jail and, you know, Black Sam been in the penitentiary multiple times and all of that. Just because he did all that, don't he's not a gang member. You know what I mean? He always, everybody that speak on him say, Black Sam, super stand up. Like a super stand up human being. So, and I, I believe what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He felt like somebody sent him. And this lady is confirming that she, the L.A. felt like Big U sent him. Right? Then she kind of got a little deeper. She said she wonders, it, was it an inside job? Because she said for Nip, everybody knew that when Nipsey had that Maybach over there on that store, that Nipsey was there. When you saw the Maybach, you knew Nipsey was there. You know what I mean? So, that's what that's what that's how he felt they said when you saw that Maybach you knew that's how what she said when you saw the Maybach you knew Nipsey was there so for Nipsey to be there with and nobody had no no blower on them like nobody nobody had no pistols nobody had nobody nobody shot back Eric Holder came shot Nipsey on three separate occasions shot at him double back hit him again double triple back Hit him again, then kicked him in the head. Nobody shot back in that whole series. You see what I'm saying? That don't even make sense. That that wasn't even like that was something that just bam happened and he got up out of there. The man tripled back. So she's saying, how could nobody have any blowers or any burners anywhere in the whole city? You know what I mean? Not in the whole city, but in the whole complex. Like nobody all the nipsey people supposed to be there and nobody came to shoot back at eric holder that don't make sense that don't make sense so she's saying she could see why sam don't mess with none of them guys because it looked like an inside it looked like an inside job like she like did big you pay those guys off you know what i'm saying to did big you pay those guys off to be lacking you know this what that lady words was you know what I mean? So that is strange that he was able to come back three times and nobody, you know, blew nothing. You know what I mean? That is crazy. Um, they also said that Eric Holder's family was unalived after that. I don't know if that's true or not. I really don't. I don't know if his family was unalived or not. I've heard that. That could be an urban legend. You know how that stuff go. Um, or, or it could be real. He really could have had his family unalived and nobody... You know, it just wasn't big news, or you know what I mean. It's still an unsolved crime, so it definitely, it's definitely possible that it did happen. In regards to when people say, "Why wouldn't, why Eric Holder ain't snitch?" Right? He was already accused of being a snitch. Yeah, I don't remember he was accused of being a snitch. So the last thing that this man can do is go to the pen, go and snitch. Like you know, that that's the last thing he possibly could do is go snitch. Like, that just wouldn't be smart for it, for him to do. You know what I mean? Especially if it's not open release. And even, they know even if he got released for snitching, he a dead man walking. So, why would he do that? Like, it doesn't make no sense for him to snitch. Unless they gonna put him in a, um, you know what I'm saying? Unless they gonna put him in a, you know, one of those 24-hour security type situation. Government, I mean, a witness protection. Unless they gonna put him in witness protection. That's the only way it would even make sense. You know, he would have to be in witness protection for the rest of his life because he couldn't go back out into the hood. It'd be over for him. It'd be over for him. Boy, they unalive that boy so fast. 
So it's like, what what would snitching even do? Especially if they hit his family too. So if they hit his family already, what make you think that boy not on the menu as soon as they, you know, he, he get found out he told on somebody? So, and he obviously was standing on, he wasn't living by the snitching rule. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. It's a crazy situation. But the more information that come out, it definitely does paint a picture. You know, I can see the picture that's being painted. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's the guy who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. It's cool to be smart. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. It's the guy who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.